ended what I would say, and even now I'm struggling today. What do you say when thank you isn't enough? I've tried to find the words, but that's really been tough. I feel like I know you, yet we've never met. You gave me my life, and that I'll never forget. When the doctor said cancer, I thought my life would end. The thoughts going through my mind, you just can't comprehend. Would Ruby remember me? She's too young, for sure. She needed her mummy, but I needed her more. What if she cried for me at her first day at school? I wanted to be there, this world was so cruel. What would Dan do without me there? My parents shouldn't lose their child, that's really not fair. I was told my fight was too big to do it alone. I needed a hero, but mine didn't wear a mask or a gown. My hero walks round and blends into the crowd. He doesn't advertise it or shout it out loud. His magic powers were his stem cells, not flying around or casting spells. When they found you, I knew I'd be okay. You were giving me a reason to get through the toughest of days. There was finally an answer, a miracle at last. No more chemo or radiotherapy blasts. You were giving me your stem cells. You were saving my life. You were giving me my family. You were letting me become a wife. So if ever you're feeling a little bit low, please look in the mirror and it will show. An amazing man, a hero in true form. A man who helped me through the darkest of storms. So thank you, kind stranger, for sharing your stem cells with me. You'll forever be the hero that saved my family. Thank you.